I'm here for the gangbang. All right, everybody. GrillYourAssOff.com. Love this company. Love these spices. Uh, Ma Deuce is fantastic. It is amazing. Uh, you like Willie Pete? How are we doing on Willie Pete's at home? We're good? Okay. Going Willie, Willie Pete. You're good. Yep. Um, love GrillYourAssOff.com. Please use it on meat, chicken, poultry, which is the same as chicken, or use it on chicken or poultry. Todd uh, Harris wouldn't have fucked it up. <laughs> Uh, GrowYourAssOff.com. Use the code PulpMX to save yourself money at those guys as well. Um, Kiefer, you love it? I love beating my meat, Steve. I love beating my meat. That's right. That guy said it. How much do I love it, Steve? You love it a lot. Yes. I'll do it on the back deck, in the kitchen, at my neighbor's barbecue. Oh, God. Just about anywhere I can. The only requirement is that I use Grill Your Ass Off to really top off that tender meat with a variety of flavors to satisfy even the pickiest, pickiest taste buds, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> with flavors it's like not a porn read, like, <laughs> with gun, <laughs> kind of is. With flavors like gunpowder for steak, infidel for pork. <laughs> you can't go wrong. <laughs> Check out the full lineup of seasonings, jerky, sauces. I'm here to fix the cobble. <laughs> yeah. And gear at grillyourassoff.com. That's where you go to get uh, those special seasonings. Stuff. Have you tried it, Marks? Anymore? <laughs> Have you been using it? Yes, I do. Uh, I don't use it as much as I would like, but when I do, I thoroughly enjoy it. I need to know. I need to ask I need to the know. grow your ass off guys. If you so generally speaking, I'll get some chicken. Uh, put put Heather's mic on because she should have something to tell you about this. Okay. Yeah. Yes. If I have some chicken or some steak, I'll plan it a day ahead and be like, "Hey, Pookie, I'm gonna have some chicken or steak. I'm gonna have chicken or steak oh, chicken tomorrow. What do you want <laughs> tomorrow? So then I get the meat and I put the grow your ass off and mm -hmm. I put it in the fridge. So I leave it for 24 hours okay. before I cook it up. Yeah. But sometimes I'm like, ah, grab a steak. We'll have it tonight. And then is that enough time for the for the seasoning to really work? Yeah, because I just put it on when I'm cooking. Do you really? You never you never pre season anything? No. Not setting wise, no. And it'll still taste just as good. Mm -hmm. You want to know what it kicks ass in the mm -hmm. the Willie Pete's? What? So you you Willie Pete it in the in the poultry? Yeah. Right. Uh. Chicken. Because you've cooked this how many no, I'm, times? I'm going to I'm going to tell JT. Oh, no, he, something. he just sits on the couch and I know. bring him dinner, right? Easy. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Chicken quesadillas with Willie Pete. Pete's. <coughs> I've had chicken quesadilla in three years. I know, but that's what we go to with you. Chicken quesadillas. That's what your go-to was back in the day, it right? It was. Right. That is money. So if you want to try it, grill your ass off, Willie Pete's no. chicken quesadillas. Ma deuce with steak. Do a steak quesadilla. With my deuce. Right. It's amazing. All right. A mm -hmm. couple of questions, really short and easy. Tonight. I want to get everybody's uh, answers on these two. GrowYourAssOff.com. Okay. Uh, John says, Kiefer, what is your preference for the ladies? Bald is beautiful. Landing strip. 70s porn star full rug. <laughs> and do you have a say in what Heather runs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I yeah. got to say. You okay. want to know why? Yeah. Babe. Yes. How are we looking right now? Bald. Right. What was it before last month? What was that about? L landing strip. Boom. I say I need this this month, this this month. Oh. And just oh. mix it up. Oh, you mix it up. Yeah. What do you like, Steven? What is this, like a Willie Pete's thing? Like you have different Madus and Willie yeah. Pete's? Bring it to me now. I need uh, a <laughs> I need a strip. Bring it to me now. <laughs> Pac Man. Uh, uh, I'm a five. Like whatever. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, so you don't care, bald muff. We don't. You don't care. Yeah, I don't want the '70s porn uh, <laughs> rug. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna Ixnay option three, but whatever. JT, oh, you prefer? I don't play this game. Why? No. Come oh on. Oh my god. I guarantee you know what Marx's chick does. Stripped. Of course. Yes. She all Brazilian up. Yeah, always. Not uh, not always, but yeah. Hey, Beaks. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what do you like? Uh, landing stripper shaved. Okay. Not like 70s. I'm with Steve on that. I don't mind. Like, I would like Heather sometimes just to grow a full muff. No, no, no. no. Nobody wants that. JT I, might. Maybe that's why he's not answering. No. I, I'm, I, I'm, I feel sick to my stomach thinking about it. Okay. So, so bald or strip? No, 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 no. Certainly not option C. 
<laughs> okay, well, option C is off the plate. Just turn your shirt. I don't. I don't turn I'm, your shirt I'm inside out. out let's I'm talk. Out. I'm not on this game. <laughs> shirt Continue on. It's not really a game. It's a segment. He's yeah. like Travis Preston right now. Oh, he is him and Travis. Again. Although I think Travis would actually answer the question. No, he wouldn't. Yeah, he would. No, he would. All right, from CJ. I really like that Kiefer guy. CJ, uh, Kiefer, you often mention home life for racers. What is expected from a female counterpart to fulfill home life duties? And make it easier on racers, privateers, and factory guys, daily routines, after dark fulfillment, etc. I'll let you take it. This is great for you. This is what you do for me. Do they, You're really good at do it. Do you mind the timing? Oh, yeah, can you answer your own question. Besides <laughs> besides that timing thing, like what do you do to make everything easier? Pack your lunch, make you dinner, take care of your gear bag, wash your gear, get the van dialed in for you. Yeah. She pulls out gear on race day. She'll set it out. She just gets things organized. Although, I did put his gear away a week ago. Oh, boy. And homie uses his jersey to tie it around his waist to get undressed. Yeah. So my junk ain't coming out, yeah. right? I'd already put everything away and zipped up his bag. Well, then he throws his jersey at me. So I just unzip it and throw it in a compartment. We get home and hell breaks loose. Why the fuck's my jersey? I'm like, I don't know. I put it in your bag. It's not in here. I fucking lost it. La, 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 la. I'm like, what is your problem? It was a test jersey and I needed to take a picture of something, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought it was gone and I didn't F that much. I just said, dude. Oh, you were pissed. Aiden comes in. He's like, dad's on one. Watch out. I'm like, yeah, I know. Huh? She found it. So she takes care of things. Yep. Mm -hmm. A woman uh, off the track, she'll handle stuff for you. Um, that maybe you need taken care of. Like you said, you take care of dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, she takes care of dinner. I witnessed it. It's good dinners, right? Yeah. They're great dinners, but then you sit on the couch and she brings you everything. What do you do when Pookie makes dinner? I'm making dinner with her. I'm helping. I shredded cheese the other night. So you're telling me Pookie just never makes dinner on her own? No, I'm usually helping. Hmm. I mean, I'm sure she has. Who barbecues? I do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, I try to barbecue. She won't let me. No. Yeah, I barbecue. So anyway, you just take care of a lot of odds and ends mm -hmm. for me and helps alleviate a lot of other things that I should do, but I don't have to because she does it. I wouldn't let Wygant barbecue. <laughs> no. Wygant no. told us the other day he can't cook burgers. He keeps burning them. He goes by feel. <laughs> so he said he cooked He said he said cooked his burgers for 30 30, minutes. 35 minutes <laughs> on 240. 250 degrees at 35 <laughs> minutes. Oh my God. Were they just this big when they pulled them out? Dude. He didn't know what he kept. He kept going in five minute intervals. And I'm like, how hot are you? I'm 250 degrees. What the hell are you doing? 30 are minutes. Are you smoking this thing? Oh my God, <laughs> dude. It's he can't much. cook burgers. It's like a Thanksgiving turkey. Like, he, he has no idea what he's doing. So the wife's on it all the time, then, obviously. Well,. She won't let him have any like the pink. slightest pink in the hamburger at all. It's got to be on that too. Well, it's got so he's into this spot where now he's just cooking charcoal briquettes. <laughs> like <laughs> it's not going well. He is thirty minutes. Put sauce on. <laughs> thirty minutes of oh, a burger. My God. I said, Weege, that's like seven minutes aside. Flip it, done it. Call it a day. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, yeah. oh that's God. right up your alley, though. You like your shit charred. I do. I don't like no pink. Right. He likes no pink. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then he puts A1 on a steak and uh, ruins well a good steak. Well, you have steak. to if you cook it that. Yeah. <laughs> if you, good God. If it's fried, you have to do something. I so. made tri-tip last night, and I cut it. You know, I let it rest for a little bit, and then I cut it, and there was a little bit of pink on yeah. some of them. Yeah. I'm this fool, like, it was not, it was like the juice that was red, and this fool's like. <sighs> oh, man, that's, that's where it's at. I like well done. I had to go stick it back well, on the grill. You tits. go to ever like go to like a nice steak place and they're like, "You excuse me." Yeah, they don't like that. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. They tits, don't like uh, that. tits's tomahawk was too rare for me though. Yeah, tits so good. was mad. Was so good. Too. Tits was mad. Yeah, yeah. you're ruining it. Yeah. Um, and as far as after dark stuff for home life. Oh yeah. I don't. We don't really have that problem. Right. You know, like I'm a I'm a two times, two to three times a week sex guy, right? Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't need sex a lot. So two or three times, it's average. I love beating my meat. So, mm -hmm. All right, we have a KAD on the phone. Okay. Yeah, Snow. Snow, what's going on? You got a key for after dark question uh, brought to you by GrillYourAssOff.com. Uh, yeah, how's it going, guys? Good. What's um, up? So first of all, key for two to three times, man. Uh, I'm, I got at least four to five, maybe maybe even more. How old are, how old are you? Uh, 28. Yeah, That's probably no. the difference exactly. there. But, yeah, it's... Do you have kids? God forbid there's like a knot hole in a tree. It's, it's fucked up. Right. Wow. Hey. Uh, wow. Um, so, question. 
the uh spit it out bro there's there's i'm trying to think of how to word this correctly i'm not gonna go full jake climber on you though um uh-huh. So being being in, or at least, well, actually, this might be geared more towards JT, actually, now oh. that I think about it. <laughs> JT's <laughs> out on this. He's not listening. <laughs> oh, sh- what I get for not listening all this whole night, huh? Come on, man. He pro- he's probably a little more on the, the single life game right now. Yep. I feel like this whole pandemic has just screwed the, all the single people. Why? <laughs> because no one wants to do anything right now. I mean... All nah, they do. They do. All that. Just, just show them a negative COVID test. You're good. Is that what it is? Yeah, you got to email them over a negative COVID test. Send them your uh, adri- address in the subject line. <laughs> and we have a lot of single friends. And honestly, like for single, honestly, I, from, well, I speaks over there from from my single friend side. As guys, they get more action because they don't have to go do anything else. The chick's just coming over to bang, and she's bailing. Talon, how are we finding it on the pandemic wise? I mean, obviously you've broken your back here, so maybe things have slowed. But yeah, I haven't really tried since the back, but I'm sure like Tinder's still going. I'm sure it's did a chick sure break your back? Uh, my blue crew, if you want to, oh, she's okay. a chick, yeah. No, let's see. Then maybe it's SoCal is a little different than NorCal because NorCal. I just got here like six months ago. Mm-hmm. It sucks. <laughs> It is terrible. I've never had this kind of bad luck. This so, is a terrible run so far. Alabama, they don't. They didn't give shit. They don't. They don't care at all over there. It's like free for all. Um, but yeah, I got here. And it's, it's no good. Maybe I need to take a trip down to SoCal then, if that's the case. Yeah. Uh, Move your location yeah, I, on your app there and put it down to SoCal and see what you can swipe. <laughs> that's actually a pretty good idea. Right. My, my, that and then send over. Uh, maybe I'll just post a picture of the of the of a uh, negative COVID test and we'll be, we'll be square. Well, that if you swipe right in SoCal, and she's da- she's DTF. You can drive six hours for a box. That's not a big deal. Uh, six hours for a box. <laughs> yeah, I maybe mean, we'll do that then. Fuck yeah. it. All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks for calling in, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, Snow. And good luck. Good luck with everything. Uh, all right. Well, that's another great edition of Keeper After Dark. Probably grow your ass off. Dot com crew. Were you saying K E D earlier? K A D. K I D. K A D. It's a little Key bit of E A. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks to Chad.